Ha! Seeing that we clicked on the thumbnail and just came onto my video, today we are building a city scene in Unity 3D. And I must warn you, this is not your regular type of videos, but this is the weirdest video I think you ever see on the whole YouTube. Yes, why am I saying that? Because I have the baddest of the English. You, you know, I have the baddest. No, I speak the baddest English language I know. And also, I make fun, which are not funny to some people, but are funny to me. Memes which are funny to me, but are meaningless to some people. So I must warn you, before we start, you must know that you are in for a real trouble. Let's get started right now. First of all, we need assets to build our city and we can get all our assets from Fabrice, which have a direct plugin to Unity 3D and there is a whole lot of assets. You can get buildings to roads to trees to gas station to statues. I mean everything is there. Everything from characters to FPS controllers. Everything is on Fabrice. So, I'll go there and I'll just download some buildings from Firebase. So as it started out, I am downloading some buildings from Firebase which will be used in the creating of our city. I need to say this, I'm very 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 sorry for my bad English and my funny jokes which are not funny but it looks funny to me but that's not too funny to you i'm very very sorry for the bad english and all that stuff so after everything was finished downloading i then proceeded to build the city and i made my biggest mistake by adding some ugly flaws on the outside of the building because i went to google to search how urban cities look like in unreal engine and in unity 3d when I came back to Unity, I added some interior floors which are not meant to be used outside buildings. But you know, as a newbie, I just used it outside the building. And that made, made my scene look kind of ugly, you know. Uh -huh. So I just deleted it and I downloaded new ones from File Base. If I were you, I would have smashed the subscribe button now. So you know, when I go to Firebase, it was a mess there, you know, the floors are many. So you need to choose what you want. So I searched, I searched, I searched until I saw one which, which was very good. It said underground dungeon floor 2. And I just downloaded it and imported it into Unity. I know that that will make a pretty much good floor, but I made another mistake going forward. And I'll talk about that mistake later. So when I came into Unity again, I deleted all the interior floors and added the dungeon floor too, or the exterior floors. That made my scene look pretty good. How are you seeing it also? Let me know in the comment section. And I think it made the building look kinda thick. But you know, that's Unity for you. Unity, everything is thick in Unity. So yeah, <laughs> it's made my scene very, 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 very nice. Let me know your suggestions in the comment section. I didn't know I'll be pretty good at building floors. I need to apply a job as a contractor who builds floors. So after I finished creating my floors, I just realized I need some, you know, um, roads where the car will also want to pass. So I just got into Firebase, downloaded some roads, and I quickly imported it into Unity 3D. So let's continue from there. So let me say, after three years, I started developing the city, and bam! there it is and the city is looking good 
I just added the roads which I cut off from the video because it's so long. You know, three years, three years developing just roads and cities. It's so long, so I don't think you have the time to watch three years of non-stop video. Yeah. So I just added some scenes and it looked pretty good too. And I added some corners, which you know when the car is coming, it will bend. <laughs> Yo, so bending wood, I downloaded it from Fabris and I added it into the scene. And this made my scene look pretty good also. So after sleeping for six years, bam, and I have the buildings, some part of the buildings, and that is how it is. You know, in my country, you can sleep uh, for six years, no one will tell you anything, yes. And you are probably saying, this guy, I think he doesn't know the time. Yeah, I know the time. Look on your phone. Look, what time is it? Didn't I say it? Yes, it, it is the time. On your computer. Look down there at the bottom. What time is it? Is it not the time? Yeah, I know the time. Pa. Please forgive me for my bad accent. You know, I stay in Africa. And we don't usually speak English here, so please forgive me. So after sleeping for 24 hours, I came back and bam, there it is. I just added some trees to make my scene look beautified. Yeah. And Danny will say, Unity's particle system makes me go yes. And me too. Trees makes me go photosynthesis. So after 24 hours, no, after 10 years of building the cities, I finally finished. And you know what I did? I did one of the most genius things in history. I just duplicated one side of the city and added it to the other side of the city. So when you see the city, you say, oh, this city is big old. But nah, this is the mastermind of game dev developers. You just use this and bam, there we go. We create a small part of the city and we just duplicate the other sides. And you see, I duplicate four copies of the cities and I just added them. So you cannot, you can see that's how game development works. You must always use your destiny, you know, the, the destiny. The destiny is what we call the brain in here. Yeah, so when somebody says use your destiny, he, he's saying use your brains. So I just use my destiny and bam, there it is. When you are standing from afar, I'm not sure you will see this. You think this one is one whole big city, but this is the genius system in all game developers. And shout out to Brackies for teaching me this. And you know, as a noob in Unity, I needed to try some things out and I tried the HDRP scene out and it looked like buying a leggings from Amazon. You see, you get a toy leggings instead. So this is what the scene looked like after adding some post-processing effects. And I guess you agree with me, this looks rather ugly. Yeah. I played a lot with some of the post processing effects and things got uglier and uglier and uglier. And I'm pretty sure that post processing effects belongs to the orange gang. That's how this thing is so cringe and it's so bad. I think I'll just delete the post processing. Fairway post processing, fairway post processing, fairway post processing, fairway post processing. And here is it in the standard rendering pipeline. It looks very good in the standard rendering pipeline than in the high definition rendering pipeline. And I think I'll stick with this one because this looks very good. Yes, this is my scene and not your scene, so you can't tell me how to use. But if I know how to use the HDRP, I could have used it 
in this scene. I'll learn more about it and later I'll add it in, the, in this scene. Thanks for watching. I know I said this video will be weird. And that is it. And that is it. It was weird with all my bro broken English, you know. Thanks for watching and smash that subscribe button now or else I will add 6 hours to your time zone. We shall meet again.